Hey guys, I am Slick77, back with another Infinite Heights episode. I hope you guys enjoyed Tam Full Horse, Tam Horse Fell, one of those two na styles names, Castle. I certainly did, but until I find someone else really cool to show off another great builder on the server, it is time to get back to what I am doing at my own place. And the reason why there's not going to be music this time is because I'm going to be, like, not cutting and pasting, but I will be stopping and starting this episode as I go through. Because there is some, like, major digging out, major construction going on and such, but let's start. So, I'm looking around this place, and I'm thinking, what do I do with this hill here? And... I don't really want to build anything on top of it. That space over there is not really the best. Um, and if you look over here, there is this space that can be easily migrated to this section. So what I was thinking, as you can see with the building there, about going inside of it, and you start going in from over on this side off the central platform. And I found another sign. Um, so I have done a little bit of work already with mining out this mountain. And how I went about this was what I'm thinking is that this is going to be like a peaceful, viney, really. I just saw lightning outside. Really green, thriving type of. It, it's hot in here. That's what I'm, I'm trying to say. It. It's hot, so there's gonna be a lot of vegetation going on, vines. I'm gonna have leaves places, and I'm thinking of the mossy cobblestone. Is, incredibly appropriate for this. So now what I initially went about doing was making a space and making a 4x4 um, four four section. Make it all nice and even, because that's the way I like it. Got the studs straight up, got it going across with the, getting holding up the mountain with the, or the roof with the cobble. And then I fly out and look at the shape of the mountain. As I halfway through it, I realized this is not going to work. And I fly out and look at the shape, and I definitely realized it's not going to work because the sh mountain's not square. You can't just you can't just model a mountain and make it look natural. It's obviously going to be man-made. So that's when I stopped doing this and started doing this. And I left this up just to show you guys what I meant: the difference between um, man-made and following the details of the mountain. Now how what I'm not doing this is that I found these things here. This grass, this is a could be leading directly towards the surface, the grass and the snow. So what I did is I'm leaving the very exterior of the mountain, except for, aside from this part and aside from this part, exactly alone as much as possible. I find the edge and I block it back up by putting a dirt piece back or smooth stone or whatever I dug up. And as you can see, I'm having the curving arch going along and then stops, curving arch goes along, stops. And then this here frame is just going to be over there. There's not going to be any long curving arch. It's just going to be this frame. But there will be one over here as soon as I get to it. And how I went about... Doing this was um right back. Okay, Adrian must have just like f found something or something along those lines. I don't know, but uh, that mod wreck is not something I can deal with. Um, anyhow, so how about this was? I put the supports first, following 
No, no, no. Sorry. I didn't put those supports first. I put the mossy cobblestone first. Because right adjacent to this mossy cobblestone is the grass. So I put the mossy in just one block ahead on e in each section. And just to, for it to stand up more, I put the supports. So what I'm trying to get with this look is that I'm trying to get the mountain supported. And what rock I've mined away... Uh, it was a very rough exposure, so you have all this cobble, all this broken up pieces of rock, jutting edges, and such. And because of the hot, steamy environment with all the vegetation, the cobble got mossy over time. So that's why I have all this mossy cobble here. Now I'm going to be switching this out with like a piece of cobble every couple places, I think. Uh... But then again, I don't want to because I don't like doing patchwork stuff myself. Uh, I like it when other people do it, but I just don't like it when I do it. it I don't understand that why, but I just don't. Um, because it's not orderly, I think, is the reason. So I'm leaving this as cobble, and what I did here was I followed just the dirt of I don't want the cobble to stand out too far like this I may replace with just regular cobblestone right there and um, I, I, th I think I'm going to yeah and the reason that is because I don't want it sticking too far past the support with all the lively green. I want like the usual colors we have here sticking out. I'm probably not going to add birch in here. But, and I just added, what I try to do is not use too many blocks. Like this is the whole block, so is this, this. I tried just covering up the dirt. So whatever I could, if I could have used a half slab here, I would have. But instead I needed a, a stair. Like if I would put, um, a full cobble block here. Look how much of it's hiding for that support. But if I were to use a couple stair, it would transition much smoother up instead of being jagged like this. But you can also see part of the supports on the way up. And it kind of looks like it's naturally mountainous right here. I guess. Can I put. A half slab here. Yes, that looks much better. Now, uh, the reason why I didn't use stone brick, and I actually tried this, is because that the. Why is this here? Is because the stone brick texture was just so completely different from the cop mossy cobblestone and it just I felt like it was a complete eyesore for just like uh, part of the mountainside obviously this is not man-made looking and stone brick was so that did not fit into my plans but it will be used as the ceiling like I have used it right here so that is there's a chicken somewhere, I gotta kill it somebody. But that is what I'm doing. How I just chose where the entrance was based on par and where this is gonna land. So the very center here is the very center here. So I just did the support and the pieces of stone holding up the mountain like I did down there. Um why this is even? Is because I want it to be. I don't want this to be bulging out like this, but the only reason why this is is because of this. And if I were to bring, if I were to dig this out, push this back, and build this up, it wouldn't look natural anymore. It'd look fully man made. And this is actually natural right here. So. But all this dug out here is man made, obviously. Um. This little spot right here is man-made, 
just this front row, but the rest of it's natural. Um, that tree's gonna stay there. Now, how I made this entrance is that very early on, I decided that I wanted to. I probably should have played music, shouldn't I? Is that I wanted to, like, say. If you came down here first, you're in the garden and you're looking around at the sites, I want you to see everything. I want you to know that there's something up there to check out. Now, this will have panes on it. Actually, let me get some panes real quick. And I want you to be looking out of that. Um, where's the glass? Gray or light gray? I don't mind if I break some glass. I want you to be looking out that window or that shelf and just looking at everything. Uh, I'll just see. I like that very much. I like the dark compared to the light, I think. Yeah, that light is just way too, way too much. Um, no, that, I'm gonna forget that something there. I think the shape of it, however, I didn't count it out. So even our odd number, it did matter to me. I just wanted to make a slight dome, which I did with the supports, and I wanted it too wide for it to stand out and be compliant with the colors of like if you look on the live map you would see just this low section of birch here covered with maybe a little bit of snow so you'd see splotches of birch but you know something's here and I want it to look like the rest of the build for I saw you when I was dropping down I wanted to look at the rest of the plate place from like this angle you see the birch you see the logs you see the uh, stone brick you see the zombie and on the roof you'll see some slabs and you'll see some cobble like you'll see everywhere else around here now there won't really be I haven't truly really decided on it yet for what it will look like but I don't believe I'm going to put good god any blues in there or whites I may put some lapis in there I haven't you know I just I need to finagle the details right now I'm just working on what it'll all look like what the shape of it would be very random which will be completely unlike me to build in that type of fashion so I'm ex extremely interested to see how this will actually turn out for an overgrove overgrown cave um, the dome I did here however is very simple stair half slab two half slabs and such um, dome here I did here however I kind of looked at this again to do it uh, excuse me Oh, he's got an enchanted... Oh, my God. You missed. I didn't get the bow. Oh, well. So, I just did stair, because I wanted part of the log standing out. Half slab stair, half slabs. And I just did two layers of half slab. Then I went up one more and connected it to the dirt. And the reason why I did it exactly like that is because of the mozzie cobble you'll see. So I'd hide that somehow. Um, now, when I made it like that, I only had this support and over, and I had this and over on both sides. So these were open, and I just didn't want to put dirt in there. So I put another couple of supports. You're obviously not going to see it from the other side, but a couple more supports connected over, and I was going to just continue that stairway because. Uh, the half slab above would be too high at first and I decided to use a log because different color different texture 
and I think I really it didn't really seem like it to you guys right now but I at the time it really made a difference adding that log in there and still does to me because that's what I mean at that time um I just had a thought clear this out I th think I like that a lot better actually. The frame. I think I do. Um, I'll finagle that around a lo little bit later. I'm keeping this grass here for the moment and then filling it with dirt at some point. Just so I can get this lush vegetated grass in there. And I definitely should have played some music. Definitely. Um, yeah, so I've got quite a bit of stuff to do here. It is 11.44 at night, so I'll probably be done screwing around in here soon. But I hope you guys are definitely interested in seeing what's going to happen here, because I sure as hell know I am. And the completely different style of from organized to random. I hope it's going to look incredible. I've said that multiple times. I'll say it again. I hope. I'm expecting it to look incredible. So. Um, this part here is a little bit man-made. I should probably fill that in. I went out and got a lot more... Uh, Mossy stone. It's in the ender chest. chest. Oh, if I can hit enter. Yeah, I got four more stacks. So I'm thinking a waterfall out of one of these walls. The reason why I even made this place uh, after that idea came to me is because I tried the waterfall idea where there's just a small pond in here and it snakes out and falls down here. And it just completely overruns this farm. And I have to make it look man-made in order for it not to do that. And that just looked terrible. So this is why I stuck in here like this. I made this entrance. So I already just said this once, but I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.